This October 7th, the decision is yours. These empty park courts are waiting to be filled with millions of my players battling for court supremacy. This year, there will be something to play for. Once you step off the hardwood, it is time to enter the world of my park, where joining a community gives you something to play for every single game, where earning rep will separate the boys from the men and the men from the park legends. Welcome to the new era known as my park. Oh, what, you gonna cry? No. No, go ahead, cry. Let me see you. Let me see you cry. <laughs> What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Shane, and I'm back at it again with another video. Let's jump straight into it, man. These are my ideas that I think 2K21 should have in order for it to be a, a decent game. So, obviously, new parks. We haven't had a new park since 2K17, and apparently, the reason why 2K hasn't added any new parks is because they feel that everyone is split off. And I don't understand that because when we had affiliations, you didn't see one affiliation just strictly staying in ballers you know you saw them go to river city or flyers and they made it in 2k17 where you can play with other affiliations so i don't i don't understand why they took away parks and just added this neighborhood in my opinion i do like i do like the stores and stuff like that it adds creativity instead of just you know pressing start and going to the store so i really don't mind that but i feel like 2k18 would have been good if they had you know that neighborhood you walk through but then when you know when you walked into the park, you would have walked into your affiliation. So it would have been like the Ballers or Rivet City or Flyers. I feel like that would have been good. Moving on to my next idea, non-shooting builds should not be able to shoot. So let me explain. I was looking at builds yesterday. You could make a small forward lockdown, pure lockdown, and have four shooting badges. That's all you need in order to shoot consistently. Because one, you could put your quick draw on gold, and then you can just put catch and shoot bronze, or volume shooter, or corner specialist, or it really doesn't even matter. You're going to be shooting consistently because one, people are going to have floor general, and people are going to have dimer. Also, playmaking locks. I'm not, I forgot what it was called. It's the yellow and red pie chart. Because listen, you could have 10 dunking, 10 shooting, and like, I don't know how many playmaking it is. I think it goes up to like 20 or whatever, and then it's like 20 defensive badges. Oh, what? You're going to cry? No. So it's like, if people do make that build, one, the shooting should not go up to gold badges. In my opinion, if you go lock down regardless whatever you make, the shooting should only go up to silver badges, and then you could have Hall of Fame, whatever, you know defensive and same with if you go the green pie chart and the lock and the red pie chart you the shooting badges should only go up to silver sure you can have more but in my opinion i think the the badges should only go up to silver because you should not have hall of fame shooting badges on a lockdown the reason why you're making a lockdown is to play defense not to play offense moving on to the next uh increasing the shot contest in the paint I feel like everybody could agree with me on this. The paint defense is absolutely terrible, especially when it comes to layups. You have your hand right in the dude's face and it'll somehow only be like 15 or 20% contested. And even when it is contested, you know how people be doing those post hooks? Like I be seeing like heavily contested post hooks going in and it makes no sense to me. Like, So the shot contest when it comes to the paint defense has to be increased. Now, see the contact dunk animations, I feel like it has to be reduced just a little because you should not be coming down the court and just yamming it every single possession. But I don't want 2K to make it where you don't get any contact dunks in a single game. I feel like you should be able to still get contact dunks, but it's just whether or not where the man is standing. The man should not be standing at top of the, at top of like the free throw line and still be getting dunked on. If he's somewhat down low, and you know he's just slacking okay then that makes sense all right moving on okay 2k needs to do a better job on updating their games because they see that people are exploiting certain moves such as the post hop step or whatever move it's called where people just go to the go to the rim holding left on the stick and they get that freaking rabbit animation where they jump over the place i feel like that has to be reduced I don't know why they added that in the game because if we're being realistic, yeah, Antetokounmpo does that move, 
but he only he rarely does that move and he's the only person in the league that actually does that move so why does everybody in the game eligible to do that move that makes no sense so that has to be reduced i'm not saying you should get rid of it but it definitely has to be reduced to the point where you can't do it every single possession because these playmaking slashers that is their key that is their one move they're going to when they go up on youtube and they search up how to be good on the game that is the one move that they are looking for okay last idea on which i think 2k21 should have so putting a cap on a on certain amount of lockdowns you could have on your team so let's say you're going to wreck you should not be running into four lockdowns and then a rim protector no you so what I was thinking is you could have one lockdown, right? You could have him either on shooting guard or small forward. You sh and you can have one rim protector, power forward or center. I feel like if 2K would do that, you would see a huge skill gap in the game. I was playing double rep yesterday and I literally ran into five, five lockdowns. It's, it's ridiculous. Like that has to be, there has to be a way you can stop that. And, and apparently the only way you can stop that right now is just your team has to make lockdowns, which is ridiculous in my opinion. So I feel like 2K has to put a cap on how many lockdowns you could have on your team. I don't know. But those are my ideas on two, what 2K21 should have. Let me know if you guys agree with me, disagree. But hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'm out to the next one.